I already recorded this once, but I'm going to record it again because it was ridiculously overexposed because my camera is a piece of crap. Okay, so basically, my name's CJ, and if you're watching this the day that I'm uploading, that means it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. So while everyone's out today obsessing over their idea of true love and buying things for people for no real reason and watching Fifty Shades Darker, which is kind of concerning, honestly, let's just think about that for a second. No offense if you like it, I just don't understand. <laughs> so while love is a fantastic thing to experience, today I wanted to talk about something a little more important, and that's yourself. And no, it's not just because I'm bitter about my Valentine being a dog. So I don't mean this in a narcissistic way, but if you look at it realistically, Valentine's Day is just trying to spread the idea that you need someone to complete you. Which isn't true at all. <laughs> and this video isn't really a how to cope with being single kind of thing. I wanted to get into like a deeper meaning, so just bear with me, okay? So don't get me wrong, whether it is having a significant other, or friends, or anything of the sort, that is something that should definitely be valued and not taken for granted. But if you don't have those things at this moment in time, then that's perfectly okay. So it's so, so important to love yourself and take care of yourself and all of these things and I know that it's really really easy to let people get into your heads with negativity. Like if people don't like you or something or they're not caring about you as much as you care about them, it's really easy to get to the point of thinking like, well these people don't seem to think that I'm all that great so I can't be that important, can I? Spoiler alert, you are! <laughs> So this may sound dark, because it kind of is, but it's something that you just have to learn and take in stride, but that is the fact that you are the only person in the entire world that will never leave your side, that will always be there, no matter what, until the inevitable end. <laughs> so if you're going to be stuck with this person for the rest of your life, you need to learn how to love that person. And if there's something about yourself that you don't necessarily like, like maybe you're lazy or something like that and it bothers you, then you can change it. It'll be very difficult, but you have to put it as a priority and do it and then everything will be peachy fine. <laughs> peachy fine? Really, CJ? But this is a very important part. If you've watched to this point, then keep watching because this is something that changed my way of thinking so much, but you have to bear with me. As I've said like 50 times in this video already, I think. So think with me. Think of some of the like negative bad things that you think about yourself on a daily basis or ever so often. These could be things like, oh, well, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not the weight that I want to be. Like any of those things, just think about it and then look at it objectively. They're just words. So cut off all ties to those and just imagine them floating in space for a second. Now I want you to think of someone that you care for very dearly that you think the world of them and you think that they're really great because, you know, they are. And so imagine that you're sitting with them and then all of a sudden they say the things that you were thinking, they say those about themselves. What do you do? You comfort them. Obviously, say, for example, if one of the things that you said was, I don't think I'm smart enough. Imagine that your friend said that, and what would you do? You would obviously be like, that's ridiculous, I think you're brilliant. But, oh, you're doing really bad in math and that's making you feel bad about yourself? Well, I will help you study and we're going to figure this out and we'll handle it and get it under control. And then that's just another thing that you will master it eventually. It'll take a lot of work. But eventually you can do it, because I believe in you. That's just what you would say if you're a good friend, which I hope you are. So, why don't you say that to yourself? I think I saw something kind of similar to it on Tumblr, just like a really quick text post. But I've never really like heard people talk about this a lot, and I don't know if I'm just not looking in the right places, but that changed my life so much, because back in the day, Believe it or not, I used to not really think that great about myself. And once I started adopting 
that method as like treating your insecurities as like a friend that needs a little help then it just changed everything like if you're starting to feel anxious then think of it as like that little friend inside of you that just needs to be comforted and loved and do stuff for them that they need. For example, the other day I was really sick and I felt terrible and I was just laying in bed feeling sorry for myself and just complaining because I didn't have my mom here to, ta to take care of me like she used to when I was little. So then I was like, wait, if like my best friend was sick and like had nobody to take care of her, like, you know I would be going and making that bitch soup. I would be, like, taking care of her, putting, like, cold washcloths on her head. Like, so I did that for myself, and it made me feel a lot better. I just had, like, a little pamper night, and that is what made me start feeling better. Because it's scientifically proven. If you're thinking stressful, bad thoughts all the time, then it's going to impact other parts of your body, like your health, and, like, your hair can fall out, like, just so much in acne, stress acne is terrible. So you need to just like be very cautious. Like even if you're not thinking bad things about yourself per se, you need to go ahead and like start preparing for things. Like, oh, well, my best friend's gonna need to eat in a few days and she doesn't have like any groceries. I better go pick those up for her. Just like love yourself. Please, please, please love yourself. Cause I promise that there are plenty of things to love no matter who you are. But, on to my next point, if you are depending on other people for that reassurance and that happiness and that just stability of everything, then ultimately you're going to be let down at some point. Even if it's not intentional, like your boyfriend or girlfriend or someone might be, you know, not able to talk to you for a few days. Like something's going on and they have their own problems going on and you might have something happen to where you feel really alone and like you need to talk to someone but they're not there so what are you like if you don't prepare yourself for these things then you're just going to feel really really bad but i'm not saying like with the whole like you'll get let down eventually that your best friend is going to stab you in the back and betray you obviously that's not the case you should still like confide in them and like build a relationship. Yeah, you should definitely open up to other people. All that I'm saying really is that if you want to maintain a very positive mindset, then you need to be kind to yourself. And I have learned these things the hard way, obviously, or else I wouldn't feel like it's such a big thing to share. I feel like because if you don't have problems with confidence, if you don't have problems with being isolated, then you don't really think about what a big deal it is to build all of this, you know, insurance on yourself, pretty much. There was times when I had, like, literally nobody. Like, in my Moving to California video, like I mentioned, um, I moved across the country, and the only person that I knew was my mom. And usually, like, whenever, like, darker thoughts hit for me personally, and for, like, a lot of other people that I've talked to, it's in the dead of night pretty much so even if I was home I wouldn't have had anyone to talk to but I was across the country it was like a three hour time difference and so it was even later from where I was from I couldn't call anybody at home and my mom was pretty sick at the time and so I I didn't want to bother her with this if you want to like hear more about that story and how I overcame that then go check out that video but I'm just saying I understand what it feels like. I know how hard it is to train your mind to be positive and to not think bad thoughts about yourself. And if you want, if you want a video <laughs> about like positive like self-talk and stuff like that and how to build confidence, please let me know because that was a journey and a half and I would love to share it with you and like just hopefully help you in some way because I wish someone would help me. But enough doom and gloom. I wanted to add a little comic relief to this if it can be comic relief because I'm not that funny. <laughs> Here are some perks of being your own valentine today. So if you are single you're probably like, well tonight I'm not going to be doing anything special. I'm, I'm going to be all alone. Nope. You have your own best friend, yourself, to have a sleepover with you and binge watch Netflix and eat junk food and do all the things that are probably really bad for you. But it's fine. You have a sleepover with yourself every night. I think that's fantastic. Do you ever struggle to find movies to watch or songs to listen to or books to read that you can enjoy 
mutually with your best friend? Not if your best friend happens to be yourself because you have the same taste in everything. You want to listen to Britney Spears? Listen to your heart's content. Do you ever order a pizza without a certain pizza topping just because your friend doesn't like it? Not if you're spending this Valentine's Day alone and you want to get a pizza because you like the same toppings as your Valentine. So never have another mediocre meal. Well, at least today. Unless, like, you're with that friend that doesn't like that topping. Um, I didn't think that out too well, did I? And, you know, arguments probably at a minimum because you and your best friend slash Valentine have the same thought process and you like the same things. You disagree with pretty much nothing. Unless you're like me and you just have a constant internal argument with yourself about things that make no sense. Well, that's a great note to end on. I really hope this video was beneficial to you in some way, shape, or form. Whether it was just entertainment listening to me thinking that I'm a motivational speaker or something like that. Which I know that I'm obviously not. And I hope that I could word this to where you understand where I'm coming from. Because, I don't know, this was just very important that to me at least that I make this. Because even if it's just like two people watch this, if it helped you in some way, then that means the world to me. But be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it. And if I did help you, that's really nice and I'm glad. And my mission for you is to go in the comment section down below and comment your favorite thing about yourself. Because although I would love to hear it because I think you guys are 100% lovely. And so I would like to hear that. You should also, you know, think about it. And so I'm making you start thinking about it, which is cool. <laughs> and please subscribe to me if you haven't already because that would make my day. And as always, I will see you in the next video.